Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on the fight game. It is typical for the general criterion in becoming a great fighter to be skill. If there's any fighter out there who possesses skill the most, it's Canelo Alvarez. The four-weight world champion with over 50 victories to his name has amassed an impressive collection of highlight reel moments in his near 15-year career. In this video, we take a look at 25 of those moments, and we explain the mechanics behind such movements which aided Canelo Alvarez in the pursuit of a victory inside the ring. Canelo Alvarez's bout against Austin Trout provided the perfect podium for Canelo to showcase his skills. Canelo showed slick defense throughout, but it was in round five when Canelo turned into a defensive showman. The jab again. Left hand gets in by Trout. This is one of many defensive showcases in the career of Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez scored a knockdown in that same fight. Here Canelo dips slightly down and drops his left hand to tell Trout he's going to throw a jab in an attempt to draw a trading jab from Trout of which he slipped with the smallest of margins, and then slipped the guard with a piercing straight right hand, an excellent method of attack against one of opposite stance. Canelo showed maturity in his fight against Miguel Cotto, with fluid defensive and offensive moments, but it was this sequence in round seven that impressed me the most. On Freddy Roach. Freddy Roach is the Canelo steps back to evade Koto's right hand, then stands his ground to let go of a right uppercut, then shows defensive responsibility by rolling the left hook. Canelo's fight versus Chavez Jr. turned out to be a gross mismatch. Canelo was superior in every possible way, but this punch in round five never fails to impress. Oh. Right hand from one a textbook slip of a lazy jab, then the response of a sharp right hand over the top. Back to the Austin Trout fight. This snappy jab was perfectly executed. Because Trout shook his hand and said, no. There's a good jab. He throws the jab from down low after two slips, landing perfectly. In the first fight versus Golovkin, Canelo managed to land one of the cleanest punches of his career after pushing Golovkin off of him. It's been a great first half of the night round for him. Golovkin managed to deflect most of the damage by rolling his head, but an impressive punch nonetheless. Canelo's fight against James Kirkland started quickly, but his knockout in round three is one of the most technically impressive. Second knockdown. Right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand. Watch here how Canelo touches Kirkland to the body with his lead hand, which causes Kirkland to lower his defense to protect against a body shot. And this leaves an opening to the head in which Canelo takes advantage of with a strong right hook to the jaw. Canelo sells the deceptive feint with not only his lead hand and head level, but with his eyes too. Notice how he actually looks to Kirkland's body as he touches with the lead hand. This is a perfect execution of a feint, and the perfect capitalization of its consequences with a knockout punch. Although it's probably the most documented knockout of Canelo Alvarez's career, we can always admire the technicality behind the knockout of Amir Khan. Taking away his energy and every Khan would get into the habit of dropping his hands every time Canelo threw a feint as he was anticipating a following body shot. So in round six, Canelo didn't throw a body shot, but a laser-like straight right hand to the chin. This knockout was ironically not about power, but intelligence and skill. Canelo Alvarez is world-renowned for his body-punching capabilities. This body punch against Shane Mosley is one of his favorite combinations. The fainted right uppercut makes an opening around the side for a looping left hook. Another implementation of this great combination was seen in his first world title fight against Matthew Hatton. Gonna be some classic oh, war in his future. Yeah. Hurt really left bad, hand yeah. to the body. Take good notice of the full rotation in his hips and shoulders. The rematch between Canelo and Golovkin was a great battle between two high-performance middleweight warriors. 
but in round two, Canelo landed his greatly deceptive left hook. Of, of Gennady. You see, it, it's red, and there's a it nice. Red. Canelo starts down low, pretending to throw a left hook to the body. This makes Golovkin's hands drop low, and Canelo then comes up with a hook to the head instead. Canelo also used this move set to set up the knockout of Sergei Kovalev. Oh, well, he's caught it with a left hand and his balance. Once again, Canelo starts low to pretend he's going to the body, then comes up to the head. Canelo Alvarez's defense is no secret. He's always had some of the best head movement in the sports, but in the Daniel Jacobs fight, we really saw a particular finesse to his head movement, especially this impressive series in round four, which can be appreciated by anyone who watches it. In his fight versus Kermit Sintrone, Canelo set up a left hook by ducking down low before it. Left hook and a right. It's an unconventional but shrewd way to set up a hook. We go to the improved version of Canelo in the Daniel Jacobs fight, where he does this same setup. His defense is very, very good. He's up the torso movement. Ducking draws the opponent's attention down low, and Canelo comes up with a great hook. It's a sneaky setup, that's for sure. In the James Kirkland fight, Canelo dropped an already wounded Kirkland with a beautiful uppercut. Shot and coming back. And hit him to Canelo's. Uppercut knocks Kirkland down. The uppercut thrown under Kirkland's jab had degree perfect trajectory to land clean. Canelo also leaned back to leave Kirkland fall into the uppercut. Canelo's liver shot against Liam Smith is the holy grail for any body puncher. This is why people are so oh, that's it. A left hook to the head, then a left hook around the side to the liver. This body shot from Canelo in the confight is one of my personal favorites. Canelo manages to deflect two punches from Khan with his shoulders, then lands a right uppercut in return, whilst rotating his shoulders back in position. Something similar to that was seen in the Kovalev fight. She got the job that Canelo, right to the body. Canelo steps back to leave Kovalev overextended, then throws a right uppercut underneath, and then evades Kovalev's jab again. Canelo's finishing uppercut against Alfredo Angulo is material for an eye-catching highlight reel. Angulo to come and try to knock him out. That's a real good power index. Also, take notice of Canelo flicking his right hand out. This feint makes Angulo think a headshot is coming. He ducks and consequently lowers into the uppercut. Canelo also did this move in the Miguel Cotto fight. Score the fight as they go along. Only a small select few of boxers have been able to do this move in the ring. This nine-punch combination from Canelo against Josecito Lopez is one of his most flashiest. It's Canelo's fluid rotation in his upper body which enables him to throw such a combination. Canelo's stoppage of Alfonso Gomez also entailed some brilliant upper body rotation. Canelo up and under, and then a big right cross across the top. Gomez is badly hurt. Canelo's got a chance to finish. Canelo wields maximum power from the torque he generates with the snap of his rotation. Canelo's slip right hand counter is seen many times in his fights but it doesn't get any cleaner than this one against Miguel Cotto. Bigger physically than Cotto. Oh, good right hand, right hand by Canelo. He dips just enough to slip the punch, then returns fast with the right hand. Back to the fight with Angulo. Watch Canelo deflect a punch and return with one of his own. He did not push the envelope against Mayweather. Canelo pushed down Angulo's jab, then from that position, he managed to throw an uppercut. As you can see, Canelo is a very skillful boxer. Only time will show us what we're yet to see from Canelo Alvarez in the boxing ring. That brings a close to this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. We'll see you in the next video here on The Fight Game.